Calculus occupies a unique position as a gatekeeper to biology, chemistry, computer science, physics, and engineering. Nearly half of students entering college calculus expect to earn an A, and nearly all expect to earn at least a B. However, over a quarter of these students will drop or fail calculus, and a third of the rest will leave the STEM fields because of calculus. Studies suggest that the lecture format is a significant contributor to the lack of student success. Most calculus instruction still happens via lecture. What can we do? Enter the calculus videos project. We know that active learning increases student performance in STEM fields and also narrows achievement gaps for underrepresented students. The goal of the Calculus Videos project is to give instructors high-quality, research-based resources to reduce the amount of time they spend lecturing and incorporate active learning strategies into their classrooms. Video lessons provide an opportunity for instructors to create more student-centered active classrooms and can provide students the opportunity to engage with the dynamic nature of calculus. So we used animations in many of our videos to demonstrate change that your standard textbook might typically have to leave to a student's imagination. We can use research on how students learn, how students think about calculus, and best practices in multimedia design to create videos for first semester college level calculus. The videos are designed with a very explicit image of the ways of thinking we want to try to promote. This particular set of videos was designed to support students in engaging in the ways of reasoning that the literature has identified as being productive for student success in calculus. Then we test the videos out with our classes and use these data to understand how to best structure the video watching process. We also interview students and use eye tracking hardware to identify how they're actually watching the videos. Then we invite instructors from other institutions to test the videos in their classrooms, and we collect information about how their students are watching and learning from the videos. Since they've already seen the material before class, we get to spend more time in class actually working on problems as opposed to just introducing the material. So they, um, they've already seen examples, they've already gotten to look at the concept a little bit, and so we don't have to spend that extra time in class working on introducing the concept and we can instead work on making sure they really understand it. It supports better than any other online resources. It targets student understanding towards conceptual understanding. Not only did the calculus videos and this kind of more conceptual understanding um, affect my students, it affected me as well and kind of my way of teaching and going through the material and thinking about the material. 